Hi, welcome to iFlip for Math, MathCast Lesson 3-5, Part 2, Multiplying Using the Standard Algorithm. And we know there are lots of different ways that you multiply. We used grids with partial products last night. I know some of you like to use lattice multiplication, and those are all okay. But tonight, I want you to practice multiplying using the standard algorithm. It's good to know how to do it. Um, our quote is by Theodore Roosevelt, who was a president. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And that's so true in math. You may make 10 mistakes, keep trying. It's, we never wanna give up in math. Learning goal, use the standard algorithm to multiply two digit numbers by two digit numbers. Here are our individual lesson learning goals. Multiply using the standard algorithm. Begin by multiplying the top number by the digit in the ones place, and next multiply the top number by the digit in the tens place. Also, um, regroup whenever you need to, and add your partial products when you get the final product, to get the final product. And don't forget to check using the digital root checking strategy. We'll be practicing that again tonight. You're going to love it. Our vocabulary for tonight, since we've already learned all about products and partial products, is the word algorithm. And we'll be learning, we'll be using that a lot in class. An algorithm is just the step-by-step -step method for solving a math problem. It's just um, kind of tells us how to do it. So we'll be doing the standard algorithm. Here is our first example, 56 times 34. We're gonna go ahead and do this one together, so um, follow along as I do it in your journal. When we multiply using the standard algorithm, we're gonna write the larger number on top, 56 times 34. And we always begin multiplying by the number, the, on the bottom number in the ones place. And we start by multiplying straight above it, that number in the ones place, and then we fan out and multiply by the number in the tens place. But we always start with this number. So four times six is 24. I'll put my four below and regroup with my two. Now I'm gonna multiply diagonally. Four times five is 20, plus two is 22. Now, when I'm done multiplying by this number, I've multiplied both of these numbers by this number, so I'm going to X here and put an O directly below it. We have this little saying, we say X's and O's and kisses to go. That's because in the old days when we used to write letters, we put XOXO, which meant hugs and kisses, hugs and kisses. So we love multiplication, so we make sure we always put X out the first number we multiply by and put an O below it. We're also, this is our kisses to go. We're gonna X out any numbers that we carried so that we don't accidentally add them again. Now we're done multiplying by this number, so we're gonna to move to the three. We're gonna multiply the three first by the number in the ones place, and then by the number in the tens place. So three times six is 18. Carry our one, and three times five is 15, plus one is 16. If that was confusing to you, Rewind it and watch it again because we always follow the exact same pattern. Four plus zero is four. We're adding together our partial products. Two plus eight is 10, carry our one. Two plus one is three, plus six is nine. And one plus zero is one. Now we're gonna use our digital root checking to see how we did. So we're going to, we're only going to find the digital root for this number, this number, and our final answer. These partial products here would also have the same digital root, but we don't need to worry about them. So I'll add together these two numbers. Five plus six equals 11. We can't have a two digit number, so we add those together. One plus one equals two. Now I'll add this number, these two numbers together. Three plus four equals seven. That's already a single digit, so I'll write it over here. And because we're multiplying, I'm gonna multiply here as well. We're just actually multiplying the digital roots of the numbers we would be multiplying together. Seven times two is 14. You can't have a two digit number, so one plus four equals five. 
Five is our magic number. Now, come down to your final answer and add all of those up. Nine plus one is 10, plus zero is 10, plus four is 14. You can't have a two digit number, so we add those numbers together. One plus four is five. Five is our magic number. And then we connect those so that it looks like we have our power barbell there, our power bar. Now we're going to do some practice problems. Remember, you can always pause it, go back and re-watch re it, especially if you're watching the examples that I'm doing, or if you're watching me explain how we worked the problem. You can also write your questions in your journal and ask me tomorrow. Find the product 45 times 76, then check using digital root. Go ahead and pause it and push play when you're ready. Did you write 3,420? Was your magic number nine? Let's see how we did that. So here's our problem written in the standard algorithm form, 76 times 45. I wrote the larger number on top and we're gonna start multiplying by the number in the ones place on the bottom. So five times six is 30. Put our zero there and carry our three. Five times seven is 35, plus three is 38. So I'll write 38 right down here below. And remember, X, O, and kisses to go. Four times six is 24, carry our two. Four times seven is 28, plus two is 30. Now we're gonna add our partial products. Zero plus zero is zero. Eight and four is 12. Three plus one is four plus zero is four. And three plus zero is three. So that's our final answer. Now we're going to check it using digital root strategy. So we'll add this number, find the digital root for that number, and find the digital root for this number, and then find the digital root for our final answer. Seven plus six is 13. Can't have a two digit number, so we'll add them. One plus three is four. And then four plus five equals nine. That's already a single digit, so I'll write it underneath. We multiplied, so I'll put our multiplication symbol here. 4 times 9 is 36. Oops! We can't have a two-digit number, so I'll add that. 3 plus 6 is 9. 9 is our magic number. Now we'll come down and add up the digits in our final answer. 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 2 is 9, plus 0 is 9. 9 is our magic number. And we made our power bar. Both of our numbers are nine on either end of the power bar, so we probably got our number correct. Number two, find the product 56 times 19, then check using digital root. Go ahead and pause while you work it out and push play when you're ready. Did you write 1064? Was your magic number two? Let's see how we did it. So I've written the numbers down already for us and we're gonna start again multiplying by the number in the ones place. So nine times six is 54. Nine times five is 45 plus five is 50. Now if nines are hard for you when you're multiplying, write down in your journal that you want me to teach you the nines trick tomorrow. It is really cool and it will really make sure that you always multiply correctly by nines. Now, we're done multiplying by our nines. So we're gonna X an O right below it and kisses to go. There's our kiss up there. And now we know we can only multiply by this number in the tens place. One times six is six. One times five is five. We're gonna add those two partial products together Four plus zero is four. Zero plus six is six. And five plus five is 10. Box your answer. And now we'll check it using digital root checking. So five plus six is 11. One plus one 
is two. Now we're down to our single digit. Remember, we're only finding the digital root for these numbers. We don't look at our partial products at all. Now we'll add these two numbers together. One plus nine is 10. Can't have a two digit number, so one plus zero is one. And now because we multiply here, we're gonna multiply here. One times two is two. Two is our magic number. Now we're gonna add up the digits in our product. One plus zero is one, plus six is seven, plus four is 11. Can't have a two digit number. One plus one is two. Two is our magic number. Now we're gonna draw our power bar. These two are the same, so when we connect them, we show that we've checked our work. Now we're gonna practice our multiplication with word problems. So read the problem carefully as I read it, and you may have to stop and think about this one for a little bit and go back into your experience and collect some additional information. That's okay, pause it for as long as you need to. To pay for her new scooter, Madeline made a payment of $64 every month for one year. How much did the scooter cost? Go ahead and pause it and push play when you're ready. Don't forget to check your answer using digital root. Did you write $768? Did you realize that you are multiplying 64 times 12 because there are 12 months in one year? Okay, we're gonna start multiplying by the number in the ones place. Two times four is eight. Write that directly below it. Two times six is 12. So we write that down. Now we're done with that two, so X, O. One times four is four. One times six is six. Now we'll add our partial products. Eight plus zero is eight. 2 plus 4 is 6, and 1 plus 6 is 7. It's what we hope to get, but we're going to check it using digital root just to make sure I didn't mess up. 6 plus 4 is 10. Can't have two digits, so 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. That's already a single digit. Now we'll multiply. 3 times 1 is 3. Three is our magic number. Now we'll add up the numbers in our final product. Again, I'm gonna to touch point because these are big numbers. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Can't have a two digit number, so two plus one is three. Three is our magic number and we're going to connect those with our power bar. If this number was different than this number, we would need to figure out if we had messed up on our checking or if we had multiplied incorrectly up here or added incorrectly here. It's time to challenge yourself. Derek is laying brick floors in two separate rectangular patios. The patios will each be 75 bricks wide and 29 bricks long. He has 4,250 bricks. Does he have enough bricks to lay the floor on both patios? Explain your answer in your journal. Don't forget to show all your work and check whatever you can with digital root checking. Come back tomorrow and check your answer in class. Finishing up. Go back and check out your learning goals. Check to see which ones you may need still some extra practice with. It may be that you can't remember which numbers to multiply by first, or you can't remember how to regroup, or maybe you're struggling with the digital root checking. We're gonna keep practicing all of these things in class, but it's a good idea to write down your questions so you know exactly what questions to ask when you first get there. Go ahead and write down if you're at a one, a two, or a three learning level in your journal. And then congratulations, you've completed lesson 3-5 part two, multiplying using the standard algorithm. See you tomorrow.